Hi everybody! Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to review a few REM Beauty makeup products. I went to Sephora and I felt like comparing it to other brands at Sephora, it wasn't as expensive. This is not a first impressions. I have used these to have my thoughts down. So without further ado, let's go into it. I picked up three complexion products and one lip product, but the lip product I bought in two different shades. First, I want to talk about the packaging. Um, here I have the bronzer. This is the highlighter. Now, I don't know if you can see it, but I feel like the bronzer has more of like a bubble shape on the top. This one is more like, I don't know, it doesn't bubble up as much. And I also can see that this is not very symmetric. And now I am questioning myself if it's supposed to be like that or if by manufacturing these, these end up looking different. Packaging on first glance between bronzer and highlighter look literally the same. Reminds a lot of people of little spaceships. So it's super cute, aesthetically pleasing in my opinion. And I really like that everything looks very cohesive. And this for instance would be the blush. And this would be the plumping glosses that I got. Their squeezy tubes have a silver cap and yeah. Very simple, not much to it. Right now I have everything on my face, but I want to show you how these actually apply. That is why we're going to be jumping into the demo. So I applied my foundation, I added my powder, and now we can jump into bronzing because I am looking super pale. We're going to be using it in the shade Solar Storm. I could have definitely gotten with a lighter shade, but I don't know why I went with Solar Storm. So this is the satin matte bronzer. As you can see, it's dark, but I can manage to make this work because I feel like this blends out very easily and to make it blend out even more easily I'm also using a bigger fluffy brush. This one is from Essence. It's one of their newer brushes like they revamped them. Super soft, very cute handle and this is just I feel like their blush brush. I've used this for powder before and today I'm using it for my bronzer. I usually start on my forehead because that is where I like to add most of the color and then I kind of go downwards. The other day I used a way denser brush and that is where I felt like you could really see how dark the bronzer was. So that is why I'm going with something way fluffier and I feel like this is the perfect brush combination for me to be able to use this color. And as you can see, as I'm applying it, it doesn't look horrendous. The other tones were just, they looked very, very orange. And though this is pretty warm toned, I don't know, I like this color a lot. Bronzer is on, so you can see how this dark of a bronzer looks on my lighter skin. I feel like it looks very good. I love that it has a very nice blendability to it. So I'm able to make it work on my skin tone. Really enjoy the finish. I feel like it just looks very nice. For blush, I picked up the Satin Matte Blush. They have cream blushes as well, but I wanted powder. Typically, it doesn't expire as quickly as a liquid or cream can. And since I have a bigger collection, since I can't use every single product I own every day, I just want products that are going to last a little longer in my collection and not go bad as quickly. Which is why I opted for a powder formula. And this blush I got in the shade Pinking of You. Such a cute name. This is what this packaging looks like. It's really nice if you have more than one color that you can see the color through the actual packaging. It's a very light blue toned pink. It's so good on so many people because they're so brightening. And on my fair skin tone, I love them especially. And I'm using it with my Philly Millie 885 brush. I love it for blush, highlighter, all that. So I'm picking up a little bit and I'm just starting to apply that. This is not going to add depth or anything. It's kind of brightening flush. I don't know, can't really explain it. I feel like it makes you look very fresh. I feel like a baby pink color like this is such an essential for me because I am so cool toned, neutral toned, and it's one of the colors I feel like look the most flattering on me so i'll definitely get use out of this it's a matte formula again and i feel like it blends out very easily just like the bronzer did the last complexion item that i have is a highlighter i went with miss mercury which is a very pretty warm champagne color matches everything so you can't really go wrong I'm using again the same brush this is a really nice thin formula that just melts into the skin 
It doesn't look shimmery. I always have like the MAC Soft and Gentle highlighter as a reference point. I adore that highlighter. But it definitely doesn't look as natural as maybe some other ones because of the bigger shimmer particles. The actual baked formula is amazing. This is truly like a wet looking sheen. It doesn't have any bigger shimmer particles. It really becomes second skin almost. This doesn't look as beaming maybe as it does on Ariana when she uses it in some of her videos, but that's also because I'm just more fair. So it just blends into my skin tone a little bit more. I'm also using it in my inner corner, but I'm using my finger. And the last product that I have to talk about are the plumping lip glosses. I have two shades with me. I was also thinking about, you know, getting the glossy balm, but I don't know why I was more intrigued by these ones. They come in a little squeezy tube, which is so unlike anything I would ever buy. I still don't know how much product I'll get out of this. You know, at some point, you can't really get inside and get product out. So it'll be interesting to see if this was actually worth it. I have two shades and I think I'll mix them. So the first one I have is the shade VCR, which supposedly is Ari's favorite. It's kind of like a dusty rose shade, very pretty. I'm lining my lips first though, a little bit with the shade Legendary by Essence, super inexpensive, just to have a little bit of an outline. This is what VCR looks like. They don't smell minty. They also don't feel minty. They just start to feel tingly. When you initially apply them, you don't feel anything. But as time goes by, you start to feel it more and more. It's not unpleasant, but if you have sensitive lips or you just don't like a tingly feeling, these definitely end up feeling tingly. They really feel like what I would envision a plumping lip gloss to feel like. These feel like a lip butter, like a liquid lip balm. They're not sticky. It's like you don't have a lip gloss on. It's literally like you have a liquid lip balm on. So I really enjoy the texture. It feels super comfortable. On top now I'm going to use pink razor just to lighten it a little bit. This one is very light as you can see. On its own it's even lighter. It's not too translucent. It has definitely like a base color to it. So if you have a deeper skin tone than me just keep in mind that this is a true nudie pink. I like to have light glosses in my collection so I can use them to brighten up other lip products, lip combos that just look a little bit too dark for my liking. So I do really like it, but I have to say I'm happy that I got VCR as well because I feel like this one I could just put on, I know it'll look good. And this one on its own can be pretty light. I don't use it on its own, but I love to mix it in with other products. I have to say from all of these products, I think the best is probably the highlighter because it's like super thin. And the best thing about it is that it doesn't have big shimmer particles in it. It's an absolute like sheen. It really looks like second skin. Sparkles and glitters also can help you look more wet because it reflects more light makes sense but this is such a beautiful formula that will look really good especially if you struggle maybe with a little bit more texture and it just gives you a nice sheen wet looking sheen without emphasizing your skin texture too much we're all just human i'm just human so obviously makeup is going to look like makeup on my skin but there are certain products that just emphasize our skin more than others and i'm really pleasantly surprised with this highlighter formula also these powder products i feel like they just don't make your face look makeup y at all. Super thin formulas, so I just feel like it makes for a nice finish on the complexion. And yes, I am satisfied. Solid, good products at Sephora that are not as expensive, I would say, as other things. If you did find this helpful, give me a thumbs up. That would mean so much to me. You can also subscribe and come back, maybe. That would also be so, so nice of you. And whatever you decide to do, I just hope that you have a good rest of your day. And I hope to see you in the future. And until then, please take care. Bye.